the men are arranging the concert now, and they're so anxious for us both to be in it, although there'll be no girls at all. Please say you will. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Keeping their spirits up is an important part of the cure, and it's so very little to ask. What's going on? The men are putting on a concert. Can I help? Edith has it under control. I do if Mary's willing. Oh, right. One song and that's your lot. What time is Dr. Clarkson's round? It's already happened. Without me, why? I'm not very late. We didn't see the need to wait. Mrs. Hughes, I need to steal you for a minute. I have to check the linen books. But I went over them last week. Very good, my lady. I'll get started. Surely I can... Anna. Can you tell Mrs. Patmore it'd be easier for me to go through the menus this afternoon? Of course, your ladyship. Cousin Cora. Please, can it wait? I've amounted to get through. There's a parcel for you. Thank you. There's a little one for you. This one looks as if it's been opened, but it hasn't. Thank you. Ethel, have you nothing to do? No, I was keeping her talking. You mustn't blame her. I don't. May I have a word? Can it wait? No, it cannot wait. I've just come from downstairs where I learned that my timetable has been wantonly disregarded. If you mean the new lunchtime, the wretched servants were having to eat at 11 and then starve until their tea at 6. So, I found... I've also discovered that you've torn up the nurse's timetable. I haven't torn up anything. Of course, it would be foolish to accuse you of being unprofessional since you've never had a profession in your life. No, just a minute. You may think that you have the right to ordain the universe, but in this field... No, not in this field. In this house, yes, I do have the right given me by Dr. Clarkson and by the law of the land. This is my house. And I am in charge right alongside you. And if you would stop your bullying... That's enough. I will not listen to this. If I am not appreciated here, I will seek some other place where I will make a difference. Good. I mean it. I cannot operate where I am not valued. You must see that. Certainly. I shall go. I will. Perhaps it would be best. I repeat, I mean it. I'm sure you do, and so do I. Why did you promise Carson not to stage any more protests when you wouldn't promise me? I had my reasons. You won't be content to stay at Danton forever, will you? I'm tinkering away at an engine instead of fighting for freedom. I thought you joined the Rising in Dublin last Easter. Might have. If I hadn't been put down in six short bloody weeks. Don't fret. The real fight for Ireland will come after the war and I'll be ready for it. The truth is, I'll stay in Downton until you want to run away with me. Don't be ridiculous. You're too scared to admit it. But you're in love with me. Branson, could you take me into Ripon at three? I'm getting some things for Mama. Is there anything you want? Nothing you can find in Ripon. Well, it is her house. Does that mean she's suddenly received a medical training? No. Or are but... you like everyone else in thinking that because she's a countess, she has acquired universal knowledge by divine intervention. Mrs. Crawley, convalescent homes are not about medical training. They're far more to do with good food, fresh air and clean sheets. Very well. I've had a letter from a cousin in Paris who is working for the Wounded and Missing Inquiry Department. They've opened a branch in northern France under the aegis of the Red Cross. I shall offer them my services. That's, that's very drastic. I have to go where I am useful. And that place, I'm afraid, is no longer Downton Abbey. You'll be missed. By you, possibly. I hope so, anyway. But not, I think, by Lady Grantham. If you were the It would sound 
sound so much richer. But all the volunteers are spoken for. How's it going? All right, I suppose. If you don't mind singers who can't sing and actors who can't act. It helps to keep their spirits up. So they say, although I can't think why. I had a letter this morning from Sir Richard Carlyle. Oh? He... he tells me he proposed when he was staying here. He apologises for not asking my permission, but he's asking it now. Well, have you decided? Is that why he's written? No, but I have made the decision. Which is? I think I should take him. Do you really, my darling? I wish I could believe in your motives. Why? What were your motives when you married Mama? Your mother has made me very happy. Perhaps Sir Richard will make me very happy. What about Matthew? Not you too. Poor Matthew. What must he do to persuade you he's in love with Lavinia? Open his chest and carve her name on his heart. <coughs> Write to him. Tell him of your plans with Carlisle. You owe him that. I don't think I owe him anything. But I'll write to him if you like. 